Hi, this is Marta from Ruby Soup with Pearl Juice, and today I am bringing a Top 5 Wednesday Thanksgiving themed video. Uh, Top 5 Wednesday is a Goodreads group run by Sam over at Thoughts on Thomas. I'll leave the links to all that stuff down below. So the theme for this week is characters you would like to invite over for Friendsgiving. Uh, Thanksgiving is usually a very family oriented holiday, but in this week's theme, the idea was that you can invite, like if you could invite any fictional character over for Thanksgiving as friends, then who would you invite? With that all said and done, let's get to the list. So at number five of the characters that if they were real, I would totally invite them over for Thanksgiving is Fluttershy the Pony from My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. For those who have seen the show, they'll totally understand why I would want to invite Fluttershy over. Fluttershy, in short, is basically Miss Perfect when it comes to the idea of a friend. She's overly nice. She's very soft-spoken. She doesn't speak very much, so you, you would have a lot of room to talk about yourself. And she also sees the best in everyone. She's even the first pony to reform a major villain in the TV show. So she's really good at seeing, like, no matter how terrible of a person you are, she'll see something good in you. And I think that's a really good quality in a friend. And then she's also the element of kindness. So the idea is that in the show is that she embodies kindness and she is like the example of what kindness should look like on the TV show. And she does live up to that title very well. She's, uh, she's sometimes a little bit overly nice. She lets people walk all over her sometimes. But it's very endearing and uh, it would just be really fun to have her over for Thanksgiving. At number four, I would invite Makina, the heroine from Yuri Herrera's Signs of the Preceding End of the World. This is a Mexican novel that tells us the story of a young girl who has to cross the border between Mexico and America to find her brother. And the reason why I would want to invite Makina over for Thanksgiving is because she's really badass. She doesn't take any nonsense. There's a scene in the book where some guys are sexually harassing her and she breaks their fingers. So she's really cool and she's just... Um, so if anything bad would happen at the Thanksgiving party, she wouldn't be able to handle it. And another upside to this is that usually when you have these kinds of really badass female characters, they're usually very callous and cold and unkind. But Makina's not that at all. She's really super nice and altruistic. So it, I am pretty certain that if I invited Makina over to Thanksgiving and something bad happened, uh, not only would she be able to handle it, she would totally handle it because she's just a nice person like that. So yeah, she would, she would be a really good security guard for Thanksgiving. At number three, I would invite Song from The Play and Butterfly. And Butterfly is a 1988 play written by... David Henry Hong and this is basically a deconstruction play that's based on the opera Madame Butterfly. This play is a examination of the fetishization of Asian cultures from the western point of view and they talk a lot about how westerners look at Asian women and Asian men and how they impose these very dehumanizing stereotypes on these on the individuals and it's a really good play but admittedly song who is the main character in this book he's not a very nice person but he's really funny and he's very snarky so i would invite him over just because of that he probably would just be a jerk to everyone and he probably would just be doing his soapbox monologues but I think he would be very entertaining because he would probably just say it with so much snark that it just would be worth it. If things get too boring, I'll just ask his opinion on something and he could just start monologuing and it'll be great. Um, I do really love his character, but he's not, he's not the nicest person, but 
he's often right and uh he's uh, he's not only often right he's also like spectacularly hilarious when he's right and at number two i would want to invite lisa simpson from the simpsons lisa while being a very divisive character in the simpsons fandom I've always enjoyed her quite a bit. I actually think that her enthusiasm for social justice and political causes is really enduring. Uh, the only problem is that she's vegetarian, so you would have to make a vegetarian dish for her. But I have vegetarian friends, so that wouldn't be a huge problem. So I feel like if she was over for Thanksgiving and she would start talking about all these things that interest her, I think we would actually be able to have a fairly good conversation. Um, I'm a little bit of a soapbox Sadie myself, so I think that I would understand another soapbox Sadie. And also, Lisa really loves reading, and I really love reading. So I think we, we would just really connect. And then my number one pick for who I would invite over for Friendsgiving is Huey Freeman from The Boondocks. Uh, that is both the comics and the TV show. And he's a little bit like Song. He does a lot of monologues and he's very snarky. But I think that a lot of the things that he talks about on the TV show and a lot of the causes he campaigns for and the franchises he's in are quite interesting. And I would actually find it very fun to have a more intersectional conversation around Thanksgiving. So I think... Huey Freeman would be a really fun guest for that. And like, if nothing else, and then it would, at least it would be very entertaining to have a friend there who's seated there and who just absolutely refuses to smile. That, uh, that itself is quite an interesting idea. Okay, so those were the top five characters I would like to have over for Thanksgiving. What characters would you guys like to have over for Thanksgiving? Comment down below, let me know. If you like this video, you can click the like button. You can subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye!